All right. So I had said that I would do a Halloween Horror Nights like follow up video where I went through the mazes and I shared the clips. It's really hard to record going through the mazes because of the big plastic flaps. That was like my favorite thing post COVID is that they removed those things. Cause I feel like they're just annoying. Like I can see them like spaced out in between rooms, but sometimes there's just so many that you're just like pushing those and it just, I don't like it. But I did record some clips. So I'm gonna put them at the end of this. I just wanna talk about Horror Nights first. So we went, I wanna say like September 18th around there. I don't remember. It was a Friday. And it feels like it was so long ago. Like a week ago, a Magic Journeys video popped up. They do excellent theme park videos. But when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it feels like I went so long ago and I want to go again. Because we did end up leaving early. We didn't go through all the mazes. Iggy kept calling us crying. Like he kept FaceTiming us with tears in his face. And I would call my mom to see what was going on. And she was like, don't listen to him. He's perfectly fine. Like he's laughing and watching TV. And then he calls you and starts crying but we still felt really bad because he would call me he would call Steve and we did something terrible behind the kids backs I'll let you know what that was when I get there so we got the 2 p.m pass the tickets are complicated the only reason why we got that one is because we wanted the front of the line pass like when you're getting those tickets it's like well this one has this and this one has that the main thing is the front of the line pass <laughs> we um I forgot what maze we started going in line and we saw the general admission pass and my boyfriend was like that is the scariest thing I've seen all night like I never want to do general admission but so we did the 2 p.m pass and we went on the rides that we never get to go on when we go with the kids so it was Jurassic Park the mummy and Transformers so those three the kids don't like so we only really do those when we go on when we go to horror nights so we did those and then we kind of just kill time. I got a frozen butter beer. That's just my must when I go to Universal. My friend showed up, we hung out with them a little bit, but they ended up getting the, the RIP tour tickets. So we were gonna get split up anyways. And my boyfriend was like, those tickets were only like $75 more. We should have done them. But yeah, so the first maze that we did was the Stranger Things one. I felt robbed because I saw the Orlando maze. And in Orlando, they had the master of puppets scene. So us not having that, I wasn't happy about it. And then we went to the Universal Monsters maze. That one was really, really good. They always have that maze every year, but I don't know, this year it was just really, really good. And one thing like I went through with my big camera, like on a tripod, like a mini one, and those scare actors, like if they see the camera, cause some of them just pop out where they don't even know what they're gonna see. But the ones that are already in the room and they can like observe who's coming in, they see a camera, they're going to ham it up. So I was just like <sighs> the whole time. And that maze was fun. I think the best part of it is like you walk into a dark room and like you're pushing things aside and you realize they're like, they're obviously like fake, but like mannequins, like hanging, like, you know, noose tied around the neck and you have to push through that room. So that maze was fun. Then we went on Chucky and Chucky was my favorite maze probably of the night. Yeah, it was my favorite maze. I like the show. I like Chucky. I think it's really funny. And it was just like a fun maze. I know it's Horror Nights. It's supposed to be scary. But there's... I always like like a fun element. Like when they had the Ghostbusters maze. The Trick or Treat maze. What else? They've just had certain like mazes that are just fun, you know? And I like that. So the Chucky maze was my favorite. The, we did the Evil Dead Rise maze. That one I didn't like so much. I did like the movie, but I don't know. I feel like because it's, but I don't know. I feel like because it's on the upper lot, like it's so small, they're not able to really expand it. I thought, I don't know. I think I had higher expectations for it. The Terror Tram was funny. It's like, it was like a pesticide guy, like, but instead of getting rid of pests, like they're getting rid of humans. So it was like big size, like bugs and like, it was like people dressed as bugs and spiders and stuff. So that one was another fun maze. We did The Last of Us. I didn't like that maze. Like I haven't finished watching the show, but I know what it's about. But the maze just felt sad. <laughs> like it just felt like really depressing. So didn't like that one. We did Holidays in Hell. That's usually like a standard maze that they have every year. And then finally the thing that we did that we feel guilty about. Because of our past, for whatever reason, like they have different like restrictions on each pass with our pass we were able to go into nintendo world 
And it was empty when we went in. It was just like literally nobody was in there. Like we thought it was closed because people stand at the entrance. And we thought they were going to be like, oh, like, you know, we're closed. But they were just like, oh, if you have a 2 p.m. pass, you can come in. So we went in. But the big thing is we got to eat at Toad's Cafe for dinner. I have been trying to get Toad's Cafe, not like with all my might, but I have been trying to get Toad's Cafe reservations like all year. And they're always like out. And once you get down to Nintendo World, they have a big sign, like, reservations full for the day. It's, like, really, really hard to get in. But we went down there, and the cafe was closed, and I was like, okay, whatever. So I went to the bathroom. We didn't plan on staying there. It was just fun to see it, like, with nobody in it, because usually it's so crowded. And once I, and then my boyfriend was just calling me and calling me, and then I go out, and I'm like, what? He's like, they're open, come on. So, like, they opened it, and the whole restaurant was open, and there was only, like, three parties, like, eating there. The food was pretty good. I don't really remember it, but it was, it was like decent, but not like Minions Cafe is where I go to eat at Universal. Minions Cafe is like my number one spot. Anyways, yeah, so after that, so we, the mazes we didn't do, we didn't do The Exorcist and one more. Let me see. So the mazes that we didn't do that we wanted to do was The Exorcist and Monsters of Latin America. Really wanted to do both, but we just felt so bad with Iggy calling us like, and FaceTiming us and crying. And when, we, <laughs> when we, he called us and we were in Toad's Cafe, like we were just like, like zoomed in so he couldn't see the background. But yeah, it was fun. We are trying to see if we can go again before the season is up. But it's really hard. It's really stressful to plan all the Halloween stuff we want to do. Because like last weekend, we went to Goofy's Kitchen and Steve went to the like the Halloween, like 45 Halloween convention. Like it was just all Michael Myers. And I, I don't remember, he's the planner. I just go with the flow, but we do want to go again. We usually go two times, but I don't think it's going to happen this year. Anyways, yeah. And here are the clips from the mazes. A lot of money.
friends to the end. That was awesome. <laughs> and someone else's damsel too. A pair of mad physicians chased out of London by the local authorities for their dangerous experiments. Dr. Jacques Griffin, the Invisible Man, and Dr. Fulvi Chandler, Rise 
of my brothers and sisters. Cast off those nets. Free yourselves from the traps of our human oppressors and make them feel the sting of our wrath. Remember, humans are a mess. From this planet, humans, with their inflated life, greedily consuming all of our natural resources, exterminate them. Guaranteed to kill humans dead. Just one drop and they're screwed. Rise, rise, my children. He said, Luck arm, Steven. Come here. Oh, oh no. Thank <laughs> you.